Footwork. Everyone talks about it as being one of the most important aspects of basketball. It is a known fact that players without proper footwork are lacking in all aspects of the game. One of the biggest questions that needs to be asked is, is footwork a robust skill reserved only for the best of the best, or can players of all levels use the same footwork that NBA players use? Let's look at how high-level players use one of the three main pivots, the front pivot, in multiple game scenarios and what makes them successful at it. This is a Warriors transition set. Steph is coming off the screen, planting his left foot down. He then front pivots into the shot with his right foot, and more importantly, his right hip. One of the best turn shooters in the game, executing a textbook front pivot for a three-point shot. Nick Young has been a major beneficiary of the Warriors offense. Notice how he hops back a bit, keeping his non-shooting foot, his left, a bit in front, helping him execute a beautiful front pivot into the shot, turning his hips. On to one of the best shooters in recent memory, JJ Redick. Philly is creating multiple help situations attacking the rim. As the defense sinks in to help on the drive, Redick floats to the wing. He times the pass and steps into it with his non-shooting foot. He then uses a front pivot, turning his right foot and hips towards the basket for a great shot. Kevin Durant is another great turn shooter. Here he is coming off the baseline into a down screen by Clay for the three point shot. Although the ref obstructs the view a bit, we can see KD stepping into the pass with his non shooting foot, his left, and using a front pivot turn for the shot. His shooting hip is pointing at the basket. In this Euroleague set, Malaga's shooter, Salim, is running off a double staggered screen for a three point shot. His front pivot footwork is on point, planting his non shooting foot down first then turning his right foot and right hip into the shot. Although it resulted in a miss, the footwork was so solid, all he needed was a split second to release. Clay's footwork is similar as he plants his left and in front pivots with his right. Notice how he sets up that screen and how quickly he changes his speed. He doesn't need much space after that. Embiid rolling to the basket after the high ball screen draws a B point to help, freeing up Reddick for the three. A subtle front pivot to help him lock into his shot, keeping an eye on the ball and being a great receiver. This UConn split post action gets Gabby Williams open after setting a screen. She shapes up to the ball and turns using the front pivot, turning her hips for a great looking shot. Going through this action, you can see multiple pivots by multiple players on the catch as UConn is so fundamentally sound. Their patience eventually results in a great dish to the wing, finding Kia Nurse on a tight front pivot for the three. This front pivot comes after a bad pass by Pat McCall. Nick Young has to step out of his shooting frame and gather from a wide stance. The front pivot allows him to balance, turn his hips to the rim, regain his rhythm, and get a great shot. Here we see Clay sealing his defender and using the screen to keep his defender behind him. He steps in and around Pachulia's screen with his left and gathers in his right foot into the front pivot and the jump. Shooting foot front pivot. Reddick doesn't turn his hips much on the front pivot, but notice how much he turns in the air. He lands wide and turned as opposed to narrow and squared after the after setting a screen. Since his momentum is going backwards, he needs to execute a quick hop to his non-shooting foot and a swift front pivot to shift momentum forward into the shot. An important shooting footwork distinction with the front pivot is the use of the hop, so let's see what that looks like. Coming off the screen, you can see Steph not really planting his feet down one at a time, but rather hopping into the catch off his non-shooting foot, and then hopping again, turning his hips in the air, similar to the front pivot. Similarly, Clay coming off the screen into a hop, and a hip turn in the air, mimicking the front pivot movement on the shot. Same footwork, opposite elbow. 
play coming off the screen, once again catching on a hop and turns in the air for a front pivot bank. Now let's look at how the front pivot footwork shifts slightly when shooters are planting on their shooting foot first. JC Carroll is on the wing in a wide stance asking for the ball. As a righty shooter, he plants his right foot pointing at the basket. On the catch, he will front pivot, gather his left foot in for the shot, keeping his hips turned to the rim. Planting his shooting foot first, Iguodala turns with an underturn into the front pivot, keeping his shooting foot and shooting hip forward for a nice make. This is considered an underturn off the shooting foot since your feet don't square up to the basket on a 180 degree turn and should stop short of that and remain staggered. Coming up and down screen, JJ Reddick comes up wide, planting his shooting foot down first and then gathering his left in using a front pivot. Yet another clear example of an underturn, keeping his feet and shooting hip turned to the basket. Coming off a slip screen, we can see Clay stepping in on his shooting foot and underturns for a very tight, very quick front pivot. Both his feet and hip are turned as Clay is one of the best at turning his feet and hips to the rim. Consistency is a crucial component of becoming an elite shooter. Footwork is another. Staying with Clay, he uses a counter to a front pivot to get open. We will touch on that in a future video. Once he loses his defender, he steps in with his shooting foot first into a quick front pivot while getting help from a screen after the hand. Lastly, let's look at how the front pivot footwork is executed when a player doesn't plant his shooting foot first, but rather chooses to hop and land with his feet set. Coming off a double staggered screen, Clay comes off already turned with his feet and shooting hip pointing at the basket. With a small hop, he lands turned after doing his front pivot work before proceeding the man. Here is Clay curling off the screen, showing the same footwork. Planting off his left foot for a split second, only to then hop and front pivot, landing already set with his shooting foot and shooting hip forward and towards the basket. Here are a few drills that will help you lay the foundation for a solid front pivot. Remember that the same things happen over and over again in basketball. The only thing that changes is the situation. Here is how to drill the front pivot in multiple different situations. To start under the basket, sprint up to the chair and jump stop neutral with your feet squared up to the chair. Your top foot, the one closest to half court, is your pivot foot, and your bottom foot, the one closest to the baseline, is your swing foot performing a front pivot. Going to the other side, your feet will change, but the rules of top and bottom foot remain the same. On both occasions, the player ends up front pivoting towards the back. Your bottom foot swings in front of the chair and overturns in front of the basket to align the shooting hip and shoulder with the rim. Notice how she is not squared up with the rim. This is by design of the overturn as well as the underturn on the opposite side, meant to stagger your feet once your hip and shooting shoulder at the target. All drills in this series run for one minute. As we switch from bottom to top foot, the rules remain the same, but the direction of the turn changes. Try not to stop the drill to correct mistakes. Speed it up by talking to the player, giving them confidence and allowing them to work through mistakes. The last 30 seconds of the drill will look much better than the first 30. Start close to the basket and the players experience more success. Success equals confidence, and success equals them sticking with it long enough to create great footwork habits. In this wing shooting drill, we focus on stepping into our shot around the screen, handoff, and off the catch using the front pivot. The focus here is on turning your shooting hip and shoulder to the basket after the front pivot. As she moves from side to side, she will plant her inside foot first and then front pivot again, being mindful of the turn. The narrow wing shooting drill challenges the player to perform the same footwork in a tighter space. Less room for error equals growth over time. 
As you can see, this footwork is no different from what players at the highest levels use. All your players have to do is train their feet. In the upcoming weeks, you and I will go on a journey together to discover how the best basketball players use the most basic footwork skills to perform at the highest levels. You will learn their secrets. How do they create space? How do they use angles to their advantage? Finally, we will learn how players can benefit from fundamental footwork training. We will cover the three pivots and the three counters that all players use, as well as different variations of each. Finally, I will give you basic drills you can use today to get better at the things you already do. Everything starts with your feet, so let's take the first step together. We will be improving basketball footwork one step at a time. Will you join me? Please like this video and share it with anyone you think may benefit from this. Also, please subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications once the next video drops. I hope you enjoyed it. There's so much more to come, so stay tuned.